Radio Televisier and this is RTE1 where we now join Miriam O'Callaghan and Brian Dobson for a new special about today's digital switchover. And a very good morning to you and welcome to our special programme this morning where in a few minutes we'll be switching off the old analogue television signal and moving to the new digital television service in line with broadcasters across Europe. We'll be joining Miriam O'Callaghan shortly in RT's National Transmission Monitoring Centre where the old system will at 10 o'clock sharp be switched off and the new digital service will take over. If you're still unsure of how all this will affect you and your television viewing, you can give the helpline a call. It's uh, still up operating and will continue to operate for some time uh, to come. There's the number on your screen, 1890-222-012, 1890-222-012. Or you can check out the website at www.serview.ie. Later we'll go over to Mary Kennedy in Studio One and hear from the Minister for Communications, Pat Rabbit, and RT's Chairman, Tom Savage. I'm joined here in studio by Mary Curtis, who's Director of the Switchover Project, and by Brian Geraghty, who's RT's Digital Reception Manager. Manager. We'll speak to them in just a moment. In Northern Ireland, first of all, the digital switchover has already taken place. Um, it was last night. Olympic pentathlon hero Dame Mary Peters turned off what was the last remaining analogue television service in the UK at midnight. More than 200,000 households across Northern Ireland will be able to watch Freeview television for the uh, first time uh, today. Well, before we uh, Go over to Miriam at uh, 10 o'clock for the uh, switch over. Let's have a quick word with our guests here in the studio. As I say, we're joined by Mary Curtis and Brian Geraghty. Thanks indeed for joining us this morning. It's the end of a long road, I know, for uh, bo both of you. Um, Brian, what actually will happen now in a couple of minutes' time? In a few minutes' time, Brian, the analogue services right, right throughout Ireland will switch off. So anybody who receives their TV through an aerial, if they haven't already made the switch to digital, they'll lose their TV in a few minutes' time. Right. Uh, the, 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 the digital service has actually been operating, hasn't it? So it's, people who already yes. are were geared up for it, that that's how they're getting their TV. Yes, Airview is on the air for 18 months now and the majority of households affected have already made the switch, but there are still a number of viewers who will need to do something today or, well, they'll right. be without TV in the next few minutes. Uh, Mary, can we estimate how many people still haven't uh, haven't made this switch over and I mean, whose televisions will go dark at uh, 10 o'clock? It's very hard to estimate. Our last figures are the Nielsen figures from, from August, which at the time said 200,000 households needed to, to switch. Mm. We know from retail, because we're in constant contact with the retailers and the manufacturers, that business is very, very busy. So we also know that people have been buying the boxes mm. but may not have plugged them in or installed them yet. So we will have figures next week, but along with other jurisdictions, in other countries we know that today will be very busy as will the next couple of days and we will have figures next week uh, if you get your television through satellite or through uh, a cable provider there's nothing for you to do it's done no. it's done for you it's only if you have the aerial on the roof or if you yeah. receive your television through an aerial then Serview is for you right and and if you haven't if you haven't taken action you're, you're, you can still contact our helpline uh, and it's not too late. I mean, you're not. No, no, not at all. And we, I mean, the, 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 we have the helpline, we have the website, we have a number of tutorials on the website, we have lots and lots and lots of information. Mm -hmm. So for anybody who's concerned, confused, or wants information, mm -hmm. the resources and the assistance is there. All right, well, let's uh, hand over now to uh, uh, Miriam uh, in the uh, transmission centre with about a minute and a half to go, I think, Miriam. Yeah, thanks a million, Brian. I am in this room in RT. I've never been here before. This is where I'll be switching it off. This is the mouse on which I'm going to switch off the analogue signal. I'm joined here by Mick Kyo, who's the man with responsibility for monitoring all the transmitters on every mountain in Ireland. Mick, tell me about these screens behind us. Well, basically, the screens on the left-hand side there are the four analogue services. These are the ones you're going to be switching off in one minute and two seconds. <laughs> and then here on the right-hand side are the new digital services. There's the terrestrial Serview service, and then there's also the Stairsat service, the satellite solution. And between both those services now, there's a free-to-air solution available at the rooftop of every home in the country for the first time. So and it's not an exaggerated mix that you do literally monitor in here every transmitter on every mountain in this beautiful country of ours. How do you do that? Yeah, well, you can see the, some of the computers here in front of us, and they're obviously connected to the mountain tops via microwave radio links and via fiber optic cables and stuff like that. And then it's all fed into various software programs, and then the engineers sit here and monitor it, and they can switch sites on, off, services up, down and power things up and down and keep a good eye on it from here, make sure nothing is going wrong. And we've got 20 seconds to go now, Mick. 
Is it a big day for all of you guys in here? It's a big day. We've been looking at this for <laughs> a, well, long. a number of years, so it's great that it's happened and we're now hit the nine Ten seconds. seconds. Nine. Seven, six, six. Five. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Switch. And there we have it. The analog is over. Analog is over. A new digital world. A new digital world after some 50 years. Wow. Well, well done to all of you. I hear them applauding outside in there. So well done to everyone involved. And uh, is it an emotional day? Um, we're engineers, so we don't do much emotion, <laughs> but um, we're just delighted to have the new latest and greatest available yeah. for people because it's a much better service, you know, better quality picture, better quality audio, digital teletext, radio service on the TV, and obviously lots of room for more channels to come along. So it'll be a much improved service for the Irish viewer. Yeah, well, for all of you watching, it's an historic day, more than 50 years of analogue, and now we're into a new, brilliant digital world. Right back to you, Brian. Um, thank you indeed uh, to Mick and to uh, uh, Miriam. Uh, if you're still watching us, obviously you've made the switch, but uh, perhaps you, you know somebody who's having some difficulty with this. So just a reminder of the, uh, the helpline and the, the website that you may be able to assist somebody. Uh, whose television has gone dark this morning. There's the, the helpline uh, number, 1890 or the website, www.serveu.ie. Well,